Breaking news tonight at 5, a new Columbia City Manager has been appointed. Current Deputy City Manager DeCarlin Seawood will get promoted to the next City Manager. ABC 17 News anchor Lucas Geisler is live at City Hall for us tonight. And Lucas, Seawood has worked as Deputy City Manager under John Glasscock for about two years. Deborah, the several city council members that spoke and that I spoke to today say that Seawood has essentially had a two year job interview in this position now taking over in January when John Glasscock retires. I'm now joined by the man himself, Mr. DeCarlin Seawood, who will be the next city manager in Columbia. Mr. Seawood, first and foremost, congratulations on the hire. Uh, just to start things off, what are some things that you're looking forward to getting done as you take over as the city manager of the city? Well, thank you. So the, the first thing that we got to work on is actually hiring a lot of new employees. I need to hire an HR director, an IT director, public works director, a uh, new deputy city manager. Uh, we've started uh, looking at diversity, equity, and inclusion, so we're going to hire a diversity officer. So it's just exciting to start recruiting new people to the city. You mentioned in your news conference uh, announcing this that you'd also like to, um, to look into the ways in which the city gets feedback from folks. Yes. A lot of people feel a lot of, lot of ways about the way the city does business. How are you hoping to approach this? What kind of changes do you, do you have in mind in that regard? Well, so we, we have to look at engagement differently. You know, I think the city does a great job of informing people what they do, but we don't do a good job about empowering residents to give us feedback. And so the idea for engagement is not just let people know, hey, this is a project, but it's getting feedback back from our residents to say, yes, that's the project I want. And so we, we got to do a couple of different things. We're going to look at going into the neighborhoods and actually talking to people. We're going to look at doing some digital processes to allow people just to send us a text message about a project. So it's just different processes to get feedback from different ways. We also spoke a little bit earlier about crime, addressing it. How can, what can the city do um, to reduce it, but also prevent it from happening? What's your vision in that regard? You've had a couple years working closely with the city um, and being able to see how it works. What's your, what's your vision as you head into this next job? Well, so when, when we look at crime, we have to look at some of the root causes of crime. And so we have to look at our, our jobs. We have to look at education. We have to look at housing. And so it's about providing for that overall complete community. And if you can fix some of those issues, then you'll, you'll get to the root of dealing with the crime issues. But the first part is to actually look at how do we empower our residents to do better. Mr. Seward, I'm sure this will not be the last conversation that we have um, in regards to all the things happening in the city. But thank you very much for the time and congratulations again on being hired. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right. So we'll have more coverage on Mr. Seawood's hiring as the next city manager later tonight at 9 and 10 o'clock. Reporting live here in Columbia, Lucas Geisler, ABC 17 News. Lucas, great stuff. Thank you so much.